you're probably hearing about another Elon Musk announcement and thinking, here we go again. Another billionaire making headlines with some crazy idea that'll never happen. And honestly, I thought the exact same thing when I first saw macro hard trending. Like, that has to be a joke, right? But here's the thing. I've spent the last two weeks digging into every filing, every official statement, every piece of evidence I could find. And what I discovered actually surprised me. This isn't just Elon trolling Microsoft. This could fundamentally change how software gets made and potentially put Microsoft's entire business model at risk. Welcome back to bitbiased.ai, where we do the research so you don't have to. Join our community of AI enthusiasts with our free weekly newsletter. Click the link in the description below to subscribe. You will get the key AI news, tools, and learning resources to stay ahead. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what MacroHard is, how it actually works, when we might see real products, and most importantly, what this means for you as someone who uses software every single day. By the end, you'll understand why this project has the tech industry paying very close attention. And here's where it gets really interesting. The first thing we need to look at is why Elon Musk thinks he can build an entire software company using nothing but artificial intelligence. Let's start there. Is MacroHard even real? All right, let's address the elephant in the room. When you hear MacroHard, your brain immediately goes to Microsoft. And that's exactly the point. The name is obviously a playful jab. Micro versus macro, soft versus hard. It sounds like something a teenager would come up with to troll Bill Gates. But here's what most people are missing. This is a confirmed, legitimate project with real corporate filings behind it. On August 22, 2025, Elon Musk posted on X, formerly Twitter, announcing that he's building, and I quote, a purely AI software company called MacroHard. He then added, it's a tongue-in-cheek name, but the project is very real. Now words are one thing, but actions tell the real story. Three weeks before that announcement, on August 1st, Musk's AI company XAI filed an official trademark application for MacroHard with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. That's not something you do for a joke. That filing specifically mentions AI-driven speech-to-text software and chatbot technology, giving us our first real hints at what they're actually planning to build. And there's more. Journalists at The Verge discovered a Delaware business registration for something called MacroHard Ventures. LLC, filed in late August 2025. Delaware is where serious companies incorporate. This isn't a meme. It's a business entity with legal standing. But wait until you see what they're doing with infrastructure, because this is where it gets genuinely wild. The Vision, an AI-only software company. So what exactly is MacroHard supposed to be? Here's Musk's core argument. And honestly, it's kind of hard to argue with the logic. Companies like Microsoft don't actually manufacture physical products. They don't build cars or rockets. They produce software, which is essentially just code, design, and digital products. And Musk's question is simple. If software is just information, and AI can now write code, generate images, and understand complex systems, why can't AI do everything a software company does? That's the premise of MacroHard. Build a software company where artificial intelligence handles every single role. From writing code, to testing features, to designing user interfaces. Now here's where most people get confused. So let me explain how this actually works. MacroHard isn't going to be one giant AI trying to do everything. Instead, it uses what's called a multi-agent system. Think of it like a virtual company with hundreds of specialized AI employees, each trained for a specific job. Musk explained that XAI's Grok model, which is their answer to ChatGPT, will essentially act as the CEO, spawning hundreds of specialized agents. Some of these agents focus purely on coding. Others handle image generation and visual design. Some simulate how actual users would interact with the software, essentially acting as AI testers. But here's the part that blew my mind. Musk said these AI agents will emulate humans interacting with the software and virtual machines until the result is excellent. 
They're literally having AI pretend to be users, clicking through software, finding bugs, suggesting improvements, all before a single human ever touches the product. It's like having an infinite team of developers, designers, and QA testers who work 24-7, never take breaks, and can iterate at machine speed. If this works even partially, it changes everything about how software gets built. So what exactly are they planning to create with this AI workforce? What will MacroHard actually build? This is where Musk gets really ambitious, and frankly, kind of audacious. Based on the trademark filings and Musk's public statements, here are the main product categories we can expect. First up, productivity software. Musk has directly suggested that MacroHard will create AI-generated alternatives to Microsoft Office. We're talking word processors, spreadsheets, presentation software, email clients, the applications that billions of people use every single day for work. The idea is that AI won't just assist with these tools like current co-pilots do, AI will have created these tools from the ground up. Second, AI services and assistance. The trademark filing specifically mentions chatbot software and speech-to-text technology. This makes total sense because XAI already has Grok, their large language model. They can use Grok to build other AI products, essentially having AI create more AI tools. It's meta, but it's also incredibly efficient. Third, and this one's really interesting, video games. Musk has publicly expressed interest in using AI to generate entire video games. Imagine telling an AI, create a space exploration game with resource management mechanics, and having it build the whole thing, the code, the graphics, the storyline, everything. We're not there yet, but that's the long-term vision. And fourth, potentially operating systems and developer tools. If MacroHard is truly trying to simulate Microsoft, that eventually means going after Windows itself. Now, building an operating system is incredibly complex. Millions of lines of code, decades of compatibility considerations. But Musk didn't say this would happen overnight. He framed it as a long-term macro challenge. Speaking of which, let's talk about the infrastructure they're building to make this happen. Because this is where you really see they're not messing around the supercomputer behind it all. You can't run hundreds of AI agents simultaneously without serious computing power. And Musk knows this. XAI is building a supercomputer called Colossus 2 in Memphis, Tennessee. This thing is absolutely massive. We're talking thousands upon thousands of NVIDIA GPUs stacked together in what's basically one of the largest AI computing facilities on the planet. And here's a fun detail that really shows Musk's personality. He literally had the word macro hard painted on the roof of this data center in huge letters. So if you flew over Memphis in a helicopter, you'd see this giant macro hard logo staring back at you. It's part marketing stunt, part declaration of intent. Classic Elon. But the computing resources are what matter here. Musk has said XAI is purchasing GPUs worth millions of dollars, potentially aiming for millions of chips total. To put that in perspective, Training a state-of-the-art AI model today costs somewhere between $50 million and $100 million in compute. Running a multi-agent system that's essentially simulating an entire software company in real time. That's going to require even more. This infrastructure investment tells us something important. Musk isn't just floating an idea to see what sticks. He's committing real resources, billions of dollars worth of resources, to make macro hard happen. So when can we actually expect to see something? Timeline. When will we see results? Let me be honest with you. We're in the very early stages here. And unlike some tech predictions, I'm not going to give you false hope about seeing a Microsoft Office competitor next month. Here's the realistic timeline based on what we know. Right now, late 2025, MacroHard is in what I'd call the foundation phase. They're recruiting engineers, they're building out the Colossus supercomputer, they're refining the multi-agent architecture. The public announcement was essentially a hiring call. Musk literally said, join XAI and help build MacroHard. 2026 will likely be the year of internal prototyping. 
This is when we might see the AI agents attempt to build some basic programs. Maybe a simple calculator app, a basic game, a small utility tool. Nothing market ready, but proof that the concept works. Musk tends to do development in public. Remember SpaceX rockets exploding on live streams. So we might actually get to see some early failures and successes. 2027 and beyond is when things could get interesting. If the prototyping goes well, we might see MacroHard's first public demo or actual product release. But honestly, building software that competes with Microsoft's polish and reliability took Microsoft decades. Even with AI acceleration, don't expect overnight miracles. That said, Musk has surprised people before. If anyone's going to compress timelines and push boundaries, it's him. Which brings me to why we should actually take this seriously. Why Musk might actually pull this off. Here's the thing about Elon Musk that critics often forget. He's done the impossible before, multiple times. When SpaceX started in 2002, the idea of a private company building orbital rockets seemed laughable. The idea of reusable rockets that land themselves? That was science fiction. Industry veterans literally laughed at him. And then SpaceX landed a rocket booster in 2015, and now it's routine. They fundamentally changed the economics of space travel. When Tesla started scaling up, electric cars were golf carts. Nobody serious was making EVs. Now every major automaker is scrambling to catch up, and Tesla is the most valuable car company on Earth. Musk has this pattern. He identifies a massive industry that's ripe for disruption. He applies engineering first principles, and he throws resources at the problem until it works, even if it takes years of failures. MacroHard fits this exact pattern. The software industry is enormous. Microsoft alone makes over $200 billion in annual revenue. It's dominated by established players who've done things a certain way for decades. And here comes Musk saying, what if AI could do all of this faster and cheaper? That's not a guaranteed win, but it's exactly the kind of audacious bet that has worked for him before. There's also a personal angle here. Musk co-founded OpenAI back in 2015. But he left and has since become a vocal critic. He's called OpenAI a closed source subsidiary of Microsoft and even filed lawsuits against them. MacroHard isn't just a business venture, it's personal competition. Musk wants to prove that his vision of AI development is better than what Microsoft and OpenAI are doing together. What this means for Microsoft. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. Can MacroHard actually threaten Microsoft? Microsoft is a $3 trillion company with products used by literally billions of people. Windows runs most of the world's computers. Office dominates enterprise productivity. Azure is one of the top cloud platforms. They're not going anywhere overnight. But here's what should concern Microsoft. If MacroHard demonstrates that AI can create quality software significantly faster and cheaper than human teams, that changes the entire competitive landscape. Suddenly, development costs aren't a barrier anymore. Suddenly, a small team with great AI infrastructure can compete with thousands of engineers. Microsoft knows this, which is why they've invested $13 billion in OpenAI and they're integrating AI co-pilots into everything. They're trying to stay ahead of exactly this kind of disruption. But there's a difference between using AI as an assistant and building a company where AI is the entire workforce. MacroHard is betting on the latter being possible. If they're right, even partially right, Microsoft's competitive moat starts to shrink. The productivity software market alone is worth over $50 billion annually. If MacroHard can produce even a halfway decent office alternative that's cheaper or has AI capabilities Microsoft can't match, there's a real market opportunity there. And for consumers, more competition means better products and lower prices. Whether or not MacroHard succeeds, just the attempt forces Microsoft to move faster and innovate harder. So here's the bottom line on MacroHard. Is it real? Yes. Confirmed by trademark filings, business registrations, and Elon Musk's own public statements. Is it ambitious? 
Absolutely. Building an AI-only software company that can compete with Microsoft is one of the most audacious tech goals anyone has ever announced. Will it succeed? That's the billion-dollar question. Based on Musk's track record, I wouldn't bet against him. But based on the complexity of what they're attempting, I also wouldn't expect instant results. What we're watching is the beginning of something that could fundamentally reshape how software gets made. Whether MacroHard itself wins or loses, the idea that AI can run entire development pipelines is going to spread, and that's going to change the tech industry regardless. I'll be following this closely and bringing you updates as developments happen. If you found this breakdown useful, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future coverage, and drop a comment below. Do you think AI can actually replace human software companies? Or is this one Musk idea that's too far-fetched? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.